classy, classy people, you're speaking. I am fired up. I think I got the people dead to right. I think I got a cold, cold deli double on Friday. I'm not supposed to fall in love with horses and a race or two. But I think I got them dead to right with an ice cold deli double. Man, man, man. But before we get going, we're here today to do the Fleet Indian Steak Race on, Sa on Friday at Saratoga. It is race number seven for a cool, how much? 200,000 going a mile and an eighth on the turf. And I think I got them over a barrel. But before we dial in, please support us by subscribing to the channel. Ring the bell so you can get notified. Dig the funk in the background. Guess what? We do major races throughout the nation each and every week. You can see I'm fired up. I'm having a bunch of fun. Support us. I'm just going to say that. Join the membership. Your Speed King is happy. I'm fired up. I got a little funk in the background. And we think we got a cold, cold double on Friday. Race is seven and eight. Seven and eight. Now in the eighth race, we're here to do the seventh race, the Indy Indian Fleet Stakes. For New York State Bridge, Friday's races at Saratoga are all New York State Bridge. Wonderful job of the secretary. Good job. But the number seventh race, we're great to analyze. But in race eight, you know we like Rinaldi, the number two, with Louis Sias. That's right, the best jock in the country. My opinion. We think he's a lock in the eighth race, the number two race, Ronaldo. Well, we're handicapping, we're walking along, kicking stones, minding our own business. And we come across the seventh race, the India Fleet Stakes. We analyze the race, we run it through the database, we look at the past performance, we handicap the race like we do, and we said, we found a horse that can't be beat. Then I said 7th race, 8th race, hard double, $100 double, boom. Let's get to work. 7th race, Fleet Indy, Stakes. Saratoga on Friday. That's right, they're going a mile in the 8th on the grass, 200, not on the grass, on the dirt. Going $200,000 for state grants. Well, the number one horse, we're not going to spend a lot of time on these horses. Betsy Blue, Betsy Blue has eight starts, four wins. No, you didn't just say that. Anytime somebody got 50% wins, we need to stop and take a look. Betsy Blue, the number one horse, has eight starts, four wins, three seconds, and one third. This horse has never been off the board. This is a nice horse. This is a, and Linda Rice, oh my God, it's a female trainer. You know how I am about that. I love to support our female trainer. This is very nice. Betsy, Betsy Blue is a nice horse by Tunnelist. Tunnelist. And trained by my girl, Linda Rice. Wow. Come out of an allowance race, speed figures are weak at best. Improving. I'll use them under leave. I'm not going to throw Linda off the ticket. No, no, never. Mm -mm. I'm going to support our female ladies. I'm going to support our female jack trainers. But Betsy Blue's a nice horse. This horse has never finished off the board. And 50% of the filly has won this race. This is a nice horse. I'm not going to throw it off. As a matter of fact, I'm going to make it my second choice. Betsy Blue, the number one. Well, pay grade, pay grade, five stars, two wins, one second, one third. Not bad by the classy, classy Christopher Clamont. And his train... Or it's actually by the same bloodline as Betsy Blue, Linda Rice horse, Tunnelist. And this horse's speed figures are just like the one horse, Betsy Blue. Suspect a little bit, a little light, but it is classy, classical mock. The horse does have 40 days of rest. Okay, I ain't mad. Got Mr. Eric Kinsella up. You know how he do. He do real good work. But we ain't worried about him either in this spot. The number two horse, pay grade. Let's throw him out. I just tossed him. Uh-oh. Buy Hubby Hello Money. Wow, the number three horse, Buy Hubby Hello Money, has four starts and one win, which means he only broke his mate. Speed figures are okay on this horse. Looks like he preferred this. The turf a little bit, the three horse, Buy Hubby 
uh, hello money. We don't like the three horse, we're going to toss him off the ticket. And the number four horse quit first or out first. Out first, nine starts, not bad, but he only got one win, which means he only beat me maidens. Speed figures are horrible on out first, and I should have threw him out first. The number four out first, out. Don't like him. Don't like him. Well, the number five horse that we're looking at here in the Fleet India Stakes, Indian Fleet Stakes, uh, a bit o Irish sass. I like that name, bit o Irish sass. Six starts, two wins, zero seconds, and three thirds. That's very, very nice. Speed figures are okay. Nothing to write home about. I don't particularly like the horse in this spot. The horse is speedy. I will give you that. You know, I'm always looking at the pace of the race, and the horse is coming off of two wins. There's uh, first speed figure, and the last speed figure is better. So the five horse, I tell you, a bit of Irish sash is pretty fast. I like that. I like anybody forwardly placed. So we're going to take a wait and see approach on the number five. And the number six horse, you guys are no fun. Well, the number six horse, you guys are no fun, is not a good name for the Speed King clan and nation. Our people are a bunch of fun, starting with their Speed King. Well, the number six horse, you guys are no fun, has three starts and one win. We don't like that. Speed figures are light. Mr. Englehart is the trainer. We're going to throw the six off the ticket. We don't like him. So he's out. Right? Epandrine is a nice horse. Eight starts, one win. Another one that is suspect. The number seven horse, we don't like him. Let's throw him out. His speed figures are just broke his maiden last time out. Is coming off for 33 days. I don't like him. Throw the seven out. And the number eight, Coffee Bar. Well, I got my Coffee Horse shirt on. Coffee Bar, the number eight horse. Five starts, one win. Todd Pletcher, don't take me much to throw his horses out. Coffee Par, uh, speed figures are suspect at best, only beat maidens. Uh, has Mr. Pratt up in from California, that's right, Flavian is in from California, obviously for the Travers, and we don't like Coffee Bar, even though we like coffee. Let's throw him off the ticket as well. And the last horse is the horse, I believe, personally. Make Mischief. The number nine horse, I believe, Make Mischief, is a lead pipe cinch. No, you didn't just say that. I did. Now, I'm up the tree. I'm out on the limb. That's nothing new. For this Speed King, there's nothing new for your Speed King to take a stand. You know I'm an offensive player. I'm not a defensive player. I'm not like your average neighborhood handicapper who's, who straddles the fence about this or that or maybe. No, we throw them out. We don't like them. We take a position for or against based on what we're looking at in that current race, right? It's a race. Make a decision. If you are who you say you are as a handicapper, handicap the race, make a decision. That's what I do. That's why my friends love me so much. Because I don't play. I'm not a defensive player. I'm an offensive player. And I think make mischief is an absolute lock. Did you just say that? Yes. The number nine horse on Friday, seventh race, that's right. At Saratoga, the Fleet Indian State going a mile and a eight, 200,000 shackles, Speed King shackles, translated to U.S. currency, is dollars. Make mischief the number nine horse should maul these horses. Speed figures are all in line. The horse has been against Bellafina in a grade one. The horse has been against, I mean, it's just, it's just a silliness, right? The horse has been against Bellafina, uh, Super Sensation, uh, Search Results, 
Clarier, did you say Clarier? Clarier, the future Breeders' Cup winner. Take it easy. And, I mean, make mischief in the seventh race should stomp these horses. This should be child's play. It literally should. Which brings us to our lock daily double. We like in the seventh race, listen to this, at Saratoga on Friday, the number nine horse, Make Mischief, is dropping into a overnight stake race, not even graded. And, and he's hooking, she's hooking state breaks. Let me say it again. She's been against Bella Sophie, Clarier, Grade One, Open Company. She's hooking a $200,000 overnight stake race against New York Braves. How do they beat the number nine, make mischief? I can't see it. Maybe y'all can help me out. Maybe y'all can give me, because you know I listen to y'all. Y'all got more wisdom than I got. I just got speed figures, past performances, and my 12, 40 years of uh, racing experience, 25 reading speed sheets, and I think make mischief. Not only does her speed figure tower over, she's hooking state breads. How to make mischief the number nine horse lose this race? A lock. And I know I always go up the proverbial tree. I always go out on the limb. And they say, why do you do that? Because I believe what I believe. I mean, show me a man that has a conviction. I'm committed to it. Make mischief should stomp these horses in the seventh race on Friday. Take it down a notch, Mr. Speed King. Which brings us to our lock daily double. Let's take make mischief seventh race Friday. Saratoga Springs, back to the eighth race, the West Point States, to the number two horse, Rinaldi. So that's a cold, cold speed game, shackle double. Nine, deuce. 92, 92nd Street. Seventh race to the eighth race, nine, two, bet at 400. That's what I'm going to, or maybe more. I'm calling up the sponsorship group and say, break the safe open, 9-2 double. Now, that's the way it looks, so that's the way we'll play it. Okay? There you go, folks. There is your steak race on Friday. All New York breads. Nice job, Mr. Racing Secretary, up there in that premier meet at Saratoga. Wonderful, wonderful job in putting all these New York State breads together from top race number one all the way down to race number 10. Wonderful job. But in the seventh race, the Fleet India Stakes, that race, you might as well hand the trophy and the money to make mischief. The number nine horse trained by Mark Cassidy with Irad Ortiz up. And in the eighth race, our cold double back to Rinaldi. That's right, Luis Saez on the front end in the West Point. As always, folks, you know your speed king is fired up and it's only the middle of the week. Give me some funk back there, will you? We think it's a cold double on Friday. Seventh race to the eighth race, 90 deuce. And while we're in there, we might as well do a 9-2 nine, a nine, all pick three or all 9-2. Let's hit this double. Let's get to work. As always, the Speed King's having a bunch of fun, and there's nothing wrong with having fun unless you're not getting none. As always, look down in the description. See our disclaimer, folks. And remember, have a bunch of fun as we head towards the Travers Weekend. Big, big steak races up in New York. We're having a bunch of fun. We love doing what we do. We got a cold double to get it all started on Friday, 92, seventh race to the eighth. Now, I know they're saying, simmer down, Mr. Steve King. Simmer down. Do me this favor. Stay classy. Don't you ever change. If those people go low on you, there's only one thing for us people to do. That's classy. Let's go high. We could do everything except what? Get along. Respect each other. Let's have a great, great time. I got a cold 9-2 double. Don't know what y'all have. 9-2, 7th race to the 8th on Friday. Enjoy yourself. Your speed king is fired up.